All right, so this is my second stop of the day here in Durham, North Carolina. Um, my previous video was at Bennett Place, uh, which was the site of the largest um, surrender of the American Civil War. And um, this current site that I'm about to visit has a few Civil War tie-ins and also some tie-ins to Bennett Place also. So uh, this is Duke Homestead. Um, Duke is a word I don't like to say, mainly because of basketball. Here in North Carolina, if you're a native, then you've probably taken a side, either Duke or Carolina. I'm on the Carolina side. It's where the, the better uniforms are, the more wins are, the more championships are, where Michael Jordan is. That's, that's where I lay. Duke Homestead, where I'm visiting right now, is um, the home of Washington Duke. He w later became a founder of Duke University. But also, he deserves a lot of credit because this is the s home of ProPublico Bono, which became the American Tobacco Company, which is one of the charter members of the Dow Industrial Average. So it was a huge, huge corporation was started right here on this humble little farm that I'm about to show you. So uh, tobacco is an important part of North Carolina history, but also twice in American history, it kind of jump-started parts of the American economy. Obviously back in Jamestown, we are eating each other. That wasn't working out very well. And then tobacco happened. All of a sudden, hey, free enterprise, that's cool. And then we stopped eating each other. And, uh, then, you know, rest is history. After the Civil War, things weren't looking too good for the South. So tobacco was one of those big industries that kind of gave, particularly North Carolina, something to, to build upon. It kind of gave us something of value to kind of keep us afloat. So uh, Duke Homestead is an important place, and we're going to go check it out. All right, so this isn't going to be a super long video, mainly because I'm low on battery. So I'm going to try to fit as much history into this little video as I can. But this is the home of Washington Duke. And um, originally this was just a little normal North Carolina farm. He grew several crops, including cotton, which inevitably failed around the time of the Civil War. But Washington Duke, um, around the time of the Civil War, was originally too old to enlist. He was in his 40s and he, you know, he kind of missed that first round of enlistments. But then later on, I guess as times got more desperate, they raised the enlistment age to 45, sorry, 45. And knowing that he was going to be enlisted against his will, decided to volunteer. And uh, he served in Charleston, South Carolina, also a little bit in Virginia. And that's where he was captured by Union troops. And, um, at the end of the war, um, he was released in New Bern, North Carolina, which is about 140 miles away from here. And he walked the distance from New Bern, North Carolina, back here to his property <laughs> in Durham. Um, now, like I said, this place has a few links to the previous site I just um, went to, which was Bennett Place. If you haven't watched the Bennett Place video, uh, you might want to check that out and then come back and check this video out. But either way, um, at Bennett Place was the site of the largest surrender of the Civil War. And a lot of the troops that were there somehow made their way to the Duke Homestead. And uh, they enjoyed the fruits of the Duke's labor here and pretty much uh, raided their entire you know, all their crops, all their, you know, their farming equipment, all kinds of stuff. So he didn't have a lot left when he made his trek back from New Bern, North Carolina. Pretty much was there, pretty much everything was gone except for a little bit of this tobacco. He had a little bit of long leaf tobacco left and the Union troops loved his tobacco. And um, so since that's all he had left, he made the wise business decision uh, going from a normal farmer to focusing on tobacco. So he, he uh, founded a company called ProPublico Bono, which uh, later became the American Tobacco Company. And as I mentioned before in the intro, one of the founding members of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So this is a huge corporation, I believe Lucky Strike 
uh, cigarettes was um, was uh, one of the uh, eventual predecessors of uh, of the American Tobacco Company. You know, one of the one of the companies that evolved from that original company, um, and uh, that that was huge for North Carolina industry. Textiles and tobacco is pretty much what we were founded on here, and. Uh, this is a beautiful little place and it's just such a humble beginning for such a big big corporation unfortunately this also gave us Duke basketball and you know that gave us Voldemort I mean coach K and Grayson Allen and JJ Redick and all those I'll be nice never mind all those guys that play at Duke but um, the Duke Carolina rivalry is also huge huge in all of sports particularly in North Carolina so I guess this this place has something to do with that so I guess I should be a little bit thankful because I do enjoy the Duke Carolina robbery even though if Duke played the Monstars of Space Jam and what was online was the survival of planet Earth I think I'd pull for the Monstars I think I would this little building right here is where the original tobacco factory and this is where a monster corporation was formed. I'm trying to think of an equivalent. I mean, I guess it's in, in those days, this was like Apple computers in terms of its, you know, economical impact. I mean, it's, it's huge. Ironically, Raleigh, which is just down the road, both Apple computers and Amazon are looking to uh, maybe build their headquarters there. So we're trying to woo those people, but we have some free enterprise, uh, Clout of some free enterprise history with Duke Homestead here. Um, beautiful little house. This is was built later, obviously, as the Duke family became a little more wealthy. Um, I'd love to go in, but I don't think that's possible. Let's see if we can just kind of peek in the windows here. Oh, got a little too close. <laughs> I have plates like that at home. I like those plates. Oh, I was wrong. I was going to go inside, but I think there's like a tour going on. And I'm not sure I'm supposed to be in there. But uh, anyway, let's continue to explore. The old chicken coop void of chickens unfortunately which reminds me I'm hungry we have Publix in North Carolina right now and uh, if you've never had Publix their fried chicken is dope probably the best fried chicken you'll ever eat I think I want fried chicken um, Trying to be a little quiet because there is a tour going on i just discovered inside the actual building so i'm not sure if i'm even supposed to be here right now i'm not trespassing but i don't know if i'm supposed to do self-exploration or if i should have taken a guided tour either way i'm kind of kind of involved with it now let's go check out the this building over here this was the um second tobacco uh, plant here on the property so as things kind of evolved and it became a bigger corporation this is kind of where they moved to and uh, I don't know if this is an original building or a replica but um, it seems quite old oh shade oh thank you shade it is Durham North Carolina it is late June and it is, it's a little hot and sticky. Now here's the old Duke household. This is beautiful, beautiful land, a beautiful house. So quintessential Southern. Um, this was not 
slave land, if you were wondering. Um, I think Jay Washington Duke did own, at one point in time, one slave I was reading. But um, it wasn't like a, this wasn't like a plantation or anything like that. Um, most people in North Carolina at this time weren't, were just kind of indifferent to slavery. Actually, most, most people, even during the Civil War, kind of took a union stance, uh, at least in the Piedmont area of North Carolina. Um, I don't know about the coastal region or the mountain region, <laughs> but um, here people were just pretty much indifferent. Um, so this wasn't a huge, you know, slavery part of the country. It just wasn't a, wasn't huge here. Um, I mean, I, it did exist, but it wasn't a, a mega part of the the um, economy here as it was in other places in the South. So obviously this is a very abrupt ending to the Duke Homestead video. Uh, and I, I ran out of battery eventually, it just happened. Um, if you go to visit Duke Homestead, uh, there is a museum that you could check out. It's a nice little walkthrough, well put together, kind of talks about the history of Duke Homestead and tobacco in North Carolina. Um, but definitely check it out if you're in Durham. You know, historic Stagville Plantation is not very far away. Obviously Bennett Place is close by, so, if you're looking for, you know, a way to spend the day in Durham, North Carolina, Bennett Place, Duke Homestead, Stagville, and obviously downtown Durham, you can go check out the Durham Bulls play or, you know, uh, a few uh, museums and different things of that nature downtown. Obviously, the New American Tobacco Center, uh, the complex, is down there as well. So, um, anyway, sorry for the abrupt end, but I hope you enjoyed uh, the video on Duke Homestead.